it's time to clean again. I don't know why I started it like that, but it is that time. I bought more cleaning products. Some were your suggestions, and then some I found on my own because you guys are good for nothing. Thanks for helping me when I do ask, though. But I, I'm gonna clean today. I got some great products set and ready, but something you're not ready for is I decided to up it a notch. That's not it. Take it up a notch. So I got myself a cleaning outfit. You best respect and appreciate. You ain't ready. You're really not. Rachel, can you even see all of this? I said to myself, Rachel, oh, I ripped the crotch already. Dang it, I'm no longer clean. But I said to myself, Rachel, if you're gonna have a clean house, you yourself also have to be clean. So I got myself one of those clean suits. I don't know what they're called, but they're not hazmat. Only people that listen to that one podcast episode will understand. But I gotta say, I look good. Wait. We're not ready to clean yet because we don't have a product. Hold on. All right, so it was really troubling me, like a lot, that that rock didn't clean as much as I wanted to from that products you guys asked me to test video. And I got that lava rock that was made out of like glass or something and I scraped up my car with it. Well, listen, I was a little sad about it. So I decided to test another de hair product. It's called Delamo. De Delomo? Delomo. A wonderful gift for the pet owner. Picks up dog hair and cat hair with ease. Reusable, durable, lightweight, Convenient pet hair removal tool. This thing is hot. No need for sticky taper batteries. So let's try this. God, this is getting in my eyeballs. Grab the roller handle. Roll back and forth on the surface. Press the button to open the waste compartment for disposal. Pour into the trash can. Love, simple, direct. Can you not? Just stay there. All right, so here it is empty. We're gonna try and fill this with pet hair. Will we succeed? Only time will tell. Here's a part of the ground. Let's work on this. Let's look inside. Oh, there's dust on the outside now. I don't know if you can see that, but it's very dusty on the outside. Good thing we're wearing this suit. There's things inside. There's dirt inside. Oh, goodness. How much can we get? Let's find out. That's a lot. There's a lot in there. To the couch. All right, I got a cover on my couch, but let's see if it cleans the cover. My hair, okay, this thing's so hot. <laughs> okay. Yep, that spot's cleaner than all the rest. I'm kind of thinking this might work. It's still questionable. We're gonna have to take it to the car. I don't, I don't wanna go outside in my suit. I have to take the suit off to go to the car. You try and get the right outfit for a video and it just ends up biting you in the butt. I swear every video I do now, we end up in my car somehow. Not only in my car, but like the back seat of my car. Not a fun place to do things, kids. Figure out a better area. Okay, Snoop and Blaze fur all over the middle of my back seat. God, there's no room back here. How do I, how do humans fit back here? Ready? Holy boogers. So that's what it was and that's what it is now. Not perfect, but it got so much. Holy poop. There's so much fur in there. That is just so much better than what it was. That would have taken so many lint rollers. Did I find? product that works on dog fur? Like, it's not perfect. You're gonna need a lint roller to like end the process, but to start it, this will save so much lint rollers and therefore the environment. Environment? Why did I put environment? Environ? Environment? I can't say environment. <laughs> All right, we're back in the front seat. The last time I did this to one of these seats, it got scratched up. Go, you know what? It's having a hard time getting this hair. Oh, we met its match. So, I'm gonna come to a conclusion on this. This will get 90% of the hair off of a normal couch rug substance material. That's the word I was looking for. But you're gonna need to finish it off with something a little better, a little more sticky, if you will. Also, it's very wide, I noticed that, so you're not gonna be able to get in the nooks and crannies, which leads us to the next product. Transition! All right, this is the next product. This is another hair remover product, but it's for detailed fur. What did it say? No, where did I read it? I just embedded fur. So I'm hoping you get the main, 
this suit was the best idea I've ever come up with. So you get the main stuff with the big guy, and then I think you detail it with this dude. Let me get it out. This would take 6,000 years. I, it is piling up hair. This is 100% piling up hair. I believe this works. This is 100% scraping things up. Yes, 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 yes. I'm going the whole freaking way. There it is. Here we go. So this, focus on this beauty. This is, in fact, getting things up. But that would take a while and a lot, of, a lot of arm muscle. The other thing is bigger. You have to use less force to get everything up. I love that I'm carrying this fur ball. So, but let's see if this works on the difficult part of my car. I gotta take this suit off again. Come on, Valter. Memorize how much fur is on this. It doesn't look like much, but it's embedded. It's embedded in there. So let's see if we can get it. Come on, I want you to work. I'm rooting for you. Come on. You know what? It's working. It's working. Yes. Yes. We got some. <laughs> I feel like it just kind of moves it downward, and so unless you have a place to end it where you can get it all, there you go. Yeah, we got some. It got it. It got some. It, it's You know what? It's been the best of all of them because like my normal lint rollers and that big guy, the first product, couldn't get anything off. The stone got it off, but also scraped the crap out of your seats. You know what? Go to the back seat. Okay. All right, here we are. So this is, was difficult to get because I had the doodad, it was too big. So what if I doodad? Oh yes, oh yes, oh, <gasps> oh! I'm gonna doodad this business, I'm gonna doodad it till the morning! Oh yeah, I'm gonna doodad you, I'm gonna doodad you, doodad and all of it! <gasps> oh, oh, oh! Yes, 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 yes. Now I'm at this point, do I just do this? Fly free fur. Okay, you might be thinking, Rachel, there's white marks now from it, because when it does this, these white, that's just because my, it's dull dirty, so that's just dust, but it, it wipes out, so it's not ruining it. It's just reminding me that I'm filthy. Look at that, look at it, it just takes the fur where it freaking wants, it's like, mm, you can go all the way up here, fur. Now you can go all the way over here. Oh. Between the first product and this product, you can get all the fur out of everything, guys. All the fur out of freaking everything. Oh, look at this. Oh, not anymore, punk. You're gonna get, leave, go away, no one wants you anymore. Leave, 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 leave. All right, we had to move the filming to outside because there's a bee currently trapped in my freaking office. Are you throwing up? Oh no, you're playing with a ball. I thought my dog was throwing up. Anyway, this product is fantastic. I highly recommend it. It's called a Lily Brush. Works great. I had no cons. There were no cons about it. All the links to buy any of these things will be in my Amazon wish list. Not wish list. Amazon playlist. Amazon, this is what I bought thing. Link below if you want to buy any of these. Not ad. Just, I try to help you all out. But our next product, this one I bought. I did not expect it to come in such an extravagant package. I also don't expect it to work, but I bought it. So, why? Why not? It's this very large thing. So house fires sometimes are caused by lint buildup in your duct vent ventilator thingy from your dryer to outside. Removes lint buildup in dryer vents. That's what it's called, a dryer vent. So it cleans ducts up to 12 feet. My duct is way longer than that. Are you kidding me? My duct is so long. This is your life. It saves money in utility bills. How? Anyway. It cleans the vents. I don't know how much buildup's in mine. When I bought this, I thought it was gonna be like to go in your dryer, which I think you can do. It's basically a giant scrub brush that you attach to your drill. Let's see how this whole thing works. So I just spent maybe the last 10 minutes putting this together. Uh, I had to attach the rods and then tape them. The instructions said to tape them because you don't want them breaking off and getting stuck in the dryer thingy. So we're gonna go locate the venti thingy where well, I know where it is. I said that as if I don't know where it is. I know where my lint thingy is. Anyway, so we're gonna go uh, shove this in a hole and see what comes out. This is the hole. So from what I gather, that Open my hole, get in there. Now we're inserting this. Now it says to do it in a clockwork motion very slowly. I'm just gonna bring this out very slowly. Ooh, we got a big one. Whoa! <laughs> oh God. Oh, these come off. Oh! <laughs> Oh, oh. Well, 
well that needed to happen. I'm concerned that I just pushed a bunch of stuff back and that the rest of my unit isn't cleaned out and I'm kind of stressing about that fact. Cause look how much came out. Look at that. That just came out of that hole. Like I need it to be longer, but like there's nothing I can do about that. Wow. All right, now I need to check the dryer, turn it on, make sure there's airflow coming through it. Let's see. Oh, oh. Oh guys, I had just cleaned this up. This was cleaned. I literally got on my knees and cleaned it and then all of this is coming out. Oh, oh God. Oh God. Oh! 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 I am shook it. What? Guys, oh, it's still coming out. Clean your dryer vents. Holy crap. Ugh. Sorry for the lighting in here and the echo, but we have to clean. I didn't even know there was towels in here. Whoops. <laughs> Try to clean that. But we have to clean this hole where the lip trap goes. So let's see if anything comes out here. Oh, oh! All right, there she is. I might get the freaking vacuum. She needed to take her suit off because it was hot, but I highly suggest, even if you don't get the lint eater, even if you don't get this one, get something. Cause we need to clean out our dryer vents and our dryers. I didn't even do the full clean out. I'm supposed to take the freaking dryer out of the room or like away from the wall and like put a freaking vacuum to it. But I installed that dryer. It is very hard to get out of its little spot cause it's in a very tiny room. And then the pipes, they're very hard to connect and disconnect. I'm just saying, no, 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 they're very easy to disconnect, very hard to connect. So I'm not gonna do that, but I highly suggest you do it. So this is the yes, I was very satisfied and utterly shocked by how this worked. Now we have two more products, one we will try tonight, one we'll try tomorrow, because you have to let it sit for five hours. It's one of those cleaning things where it does the work, but it takes time. So this is one that actually someone asked me to try. So this is our personal request, but it's Barkeeper's Friend, and it cleans sinks, tubs, dishes. See, I'm scared of it being like toxic. So I don't want to try it on my pots and pans, but it says it's what it can be used for. Keep away from children harmful if swallowed. See, that's the whole thing. Don't ingest, inhale, or get in your eyes. That's where I'm like, do I want to put this on the things that I eat? Like I was gonna clean my dog's... Oh, he just went in the... No, there's a bee! Sorry, Blaze, I forgot to close the doggy door that leads to my office was where there is currently a bee that now I cannot locate. So I had to go close the doggy door so Blaze didn't get in there and try and eat a bee. But I don't know where the bee is and I've lost it and I'm pretty stressed out about the whole thing. But we'll figure that out later. For now, we're gonna go clean a kitchen sink. I feel like that's safe. You put dirty dishes in it and you take the dishes out and you clean them and they don't touch the sink after you clean them. So we'll do this. Clean. Oh God, there's lettuce and stuff in the sink. Wet the surface. Done. Sprinkle dinkle. Sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. Sprinkle my dinkle. Then you get a wet paper towel or sponge or cloth. Bloop, bloop. And you rub it around. 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 Then you throw that away, cause that's really gross. Sorry environment. But I, I don't have an excuse. Then you. Wash it all down the sink. Sorry, environment. Well, how does that look? That looks a little cleaner. I mean, the sides are really gross because I didn't clean the sides. This is a dirty, disgusting sink. We're gonna get a new one. We're gonna redo the kitchen and we're gonna get a new sink, but we can't get a new sink until we get new countertops because it's unsung. We're not gonna get new countertops unless we can get new cabinets. So it's a whole thing. It's not just like, oh, I'm gonna get a new sink. It's like, you gotta do all the things. Anyway, I think that worked. Well, that was magical. By the way, it's the next morning. <laughs> that was magical. Love that. That it worked. I think I've seen my grandma use this way back in the day. I think it's like an older product. Pretty sure it's like super poisonous or whatever. But that cleaned my sink a little bit. I usually use a magic eraser on my sink. Last time I did it, it went from this to this. 
So I usually use a magic eraser, but hey, that worked. I like that. All right, let's go to the last product, which is a mildew mold remover thing. Let's do it. So I'm gonna do this in the bathtub because it has to be completely dry and sit for five hours. And then you have to wash off the thing. So we're gonna do this all up in here, all up in here. And did I explain what this was? I should tell you what it is before I just use it and don't tell you anything. This is a mold and mildew cleaner remover gel. You supply it to the mold or mildew and it removes it with the gel. So here we go. Yeah, it says like, don't come in contact with it, but then makes you touch it. Do apply. It. Oh, that just immediately farted and didn't want to come out. It's like a bad ketchup bottle. Here we go. Yeah. Okay, we're only gonna do it to here so we can really tell if it worked or not on that side. But we got all of that business in. It's 5 p.m. now, so we'll come back at 10 p.m. tonight before my bedtime shower. Rinse it down, see what's happening. All right, it's bedtime. It's 10:18. This has been sitting for five hours and I can already see a difference. Also, it smells very much of bleach in this room. Okay, the lighting sucks because it's nighttime, but you're like, oh, that's not that clean. But compared to that, this is why we clean cleaned one side and not the other. That is literally where it stopped. It cleaned so much. Okay, so now we have to rinse it. Guys, go up. I should have gone up. I didn't go up. We'll do that tomorrow afternoon. But it cleaned it. Like, look at the difference between that and that. What is this called? Because this freaking works. Mold and mildew cleaner. Don't eat it. Tiles, grout, sealant, bath, sinks, showers. It just takes a really long time that it has to set and be dry for, but... My shower doesn't look gross in that corner. <laughs> This is fantastic. To the outro. All right, guys, that's gonna be it for today. I hope you enjoyed this. I certainly did. Found some great new products that I am truly obsessed with. Or just the fact that I for, I just, I needed to clean these things and I didn't, needed the tools to do it. But again, there's a link below to my Amazon. I call it a playlist where you can purchase any of these. It's not an ad. Resource for all the things I've ever tested that you can, that I bought on Amazon, you can get there. But anyway, subscribe to see videos every Tuesday and Thursday on this channel. Like this video if you liked it. I know it's been a hot second since I tested products for video. I've been testing like TikTok things and other whatnot. So I hope you enjoyed that I went back to the testing. I've got a lot more testing videos lined up. So if you were missing them, you shan't know more. You will know more. Okay, double negative. Anyway, subscribe to my vlog channel, subscribe to my podcast channel. I post new episodes every Monday with my mom. It's called All Things Internet, where we talk about things that usually have to do with the internet. I love you guys so much, but please, you have to leave. Get out of my house!